We were uh, gonna begin with a sacred tradition that stems from a long time before settlers arrived here. And the land acknowledgement is gonna be led by my beloved colleague, DeAndre Fisher, our Associate Vice President of Equity, Diversity and Inclusion. Over to you, DeAndre. Thank you so much, uh, Julius and Caroline for getting us going. My name is DeAndre Fisher and I'll read the land acknowledgement and it reads as follows and as well as the labor acknowledgement. On behalf of North Seattle College, we acknowledge that we occupy the traditional ancestral lands of the Coast Salish people, Duwamish, Muckleshoot, Tulalip, Shinomi, and Shawamish, continuing to bring honor to their traditions, heritage, history, and customs. We ask that you take this opportunity to thank the original caretakers of this land, air, and water who are still here. We encourage all participants to consider their responsibility to the people and the land, both here and elsewhere, to stand in solidarity with our First Nations and Indigenous people, as well as we recognize the enslaved and indigenous people who were forced into unpaid and underpaid labor to construct this country, state, and city. It is our collective responsibility to critically interrogate these histories, to repair harm, to honor and protect and sustain the land. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Today, we also take a moment to recognize, uh, excuse me, to recognize all of those who have passed just this year, to acknowledge the never ending work to advance racial and equitable justice. This year, we lost several members of our beloved community. They made impacts on this campus to our students, to our staff, and to us personally in many ways. Today, we remember and honor and bring light into them. We bring them in with the bell of unity and honor on behalf of our beloved community. We ring this bell for beloved Daniel Jean Dewey G. We ring this bell for Paul Piku. We ring this bell for beloved Daniel Rowe. And we ring this bell for beloved Cynthia Stever. Rest well, beloveds, and dear campus community, may we remember, honor, and bring them into this space, and never forget, as we have a moment of silence for our beloved colleagues. Thank you. Thank you, DeAndre, for um, recognizing and acknowledging our colleagues who are no longer with us. Um, I think it's something really exceptional. Going a little off book here about our community is um, the way that we show up for each other and we acknowledge um, what, what is going on in the reality. And I deeply appreciate you, DeAndre, for that you bring that realness to the room every single day. Um, so just want to really thank you for that and uh, just hold space for the fact that there are a lot of colleagues we're missing um, this year. So uh, to get back on script, thank you all uh, for being here today. As we know, this was a difficult year. So this year, it's especially important for us to celebrate the service uh, and accomplishments of our community. Despite having a full academic year of remote operations, we've maintained a strong community because of the relationships that we build with each other and with our students. And today is all about recognizing and celebrating that community. We're so pleased that you've all chosen to continue to work at North, whether this is your first year of service a rough first year <laughs> at the college, or it's your 50th. 
And that's right, today we are actually celebrating an employee that has dedicated 50 years of service to this college. It's amazing. Julius. Thank you, Caroline. Um, we are also joined today by Chancellor Pan. Dr. Pan, thank you so much for being with us today to celebrate. Over to you. Thank you, Julius. Good afternoon, everyone. Truly my honor, pleasure to be with you today to honor North Seattle College employees and to welcome Dr. Crawford into her permanent role as North Seattle College president. As you know, Dr. Crawford assumed the interim role just last June, exactly about a year ago. Truly at the height of COVID-19 pandemic, economic recession and social unrest. But she approached her responsibilities with a high deep level of courage, commitment, integrity and crisis management skills. Without a doubt, she came to us and she has proven to be the right leader at the right time. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Crawford on her permanent appointment. Thank you, Dr. Pan, Chancellor Pan, and thank you everyone. When I stepped into the role of North Seattle College president, I very quickly learned that North is a close knit and hardworking community. And I'm excited to continue leading the college and the team into the next chapter. I'd like to start by thanking the employees who've been on campus doing remote operations. From all of us at North to all of the staff and facilities, security, IT, the business office, campus check-in staff, our COVID site supervisors, faculty, lab and support technicians, student services, LETS and EDI team members, thank you. We appreciate each and every one of you. A big thanks to all of you. Now let's get down to the business. Let's pop the champagne, kick off the celebration and get to the awards. We have a lot of people we're gonna to celebrate today. Nearly 100 employees have their work anniversaries. And we're gonna start off with the folks who have been at North for five years. And I'm gonna pass it over to Terence Shaw, Interim Vice President for Administrative Services and to Fitz Fitzpatrick, Director of Security at North who are gonna be recognizing employees with five years of service. Over to you. Oh, and don't forget to um, put your cheers and congratulations and reactions for colleagues in the chat. I would like to recognize the uh, five-year award recipients. Um, and I'm gonna ask Fitz, to start with his list because um, I just spent about 10 minutes logging into the computer so I could see the list of people. And uh, it's not quite there yet, but I'm sure it will be by the time Fitz uh, uh, finishes going through the uh, people he has to recognize. Thank you, Terrence. Uh, I'm the newest member of the team. I'm honored to be part of this service award ceremony. And I'd like to officially recognize these employees and their very enduring dedication to the college. Sarush Malaki, Colin MacArthur, Millicent Olay, Elizabeth Patterson, Maisovanari Pine, Caroline Pugh, Mark Potter, Lorena Redwoman, Siona Sammartino, Angela Swartz, Natalia Tiosova, Song Kan Lin Tran, Chun Wing Si, Betty Peralta, and Vivian Warwick. Thank you and congratulations to each and every one of you for your exceptional work. And we do have a pin coming your way courtesy of the college via campus mail. 
And uh, again, as Caroline pointed out, please share your comments in the chat box and thank these individuals for their efforts on campus. Um, so uh, I have caught up and I would like to congratulate uh, for her five-year um, anniversary, uh, Sudi Allen Hen, Steve Balo, Laura Bennett, Janice Brown, Anna Fisher, Jillian Fisher, Ninder Gill, Darlene Guerrero, Natasha Guerrero, James Harrell, Harrell sorry, uh, Jonathan Jacobson, Roberta Lord, Bayer Lu, and Julie Leiderson Jackson. Congratulations to you all on serving North so well for the last five years. So um, next up, we have Josh Ernst, Director of Human Resources to help us recognize employees with 10 years of service. Thanks, Terrence, and good afternoon, everyone. This year, we have a total of 23 employees who have been with the college for 10 years and that we'll be recognizing for their 10 years of service. Congratulations. I will start with the first half of the list. Meredith Bain, Bill Berry, Taraji Belgesum, Mark Donnell, Emily Gerard, Kathy Hokala, Nels Johnson, Aaron Korngiebel, Rumpipin Yai Lao Hai Prasit. I'm sorry, I practiced and I. Uh, John Letterer, Christopher Lippert, Phyllis McAmarin, and then Caroline will take it from here. Hi all, happy to be here to help honor the service and dedication of the rest of our awardees. The rest of the 10-year awardees are Ellen Yanni, Marsha Melsness, Michael Mihara, Justin Olney, Zoram Sarajic, Michael Saunders, Wanavir Tevera Picheya, Luis Tangi, Odessa Woodley, Gia Zhang, and Sharon Hamar. Thank you and congratulations to you all. Please share your comments in the chat and give this big group a big congratulations and a huge thank you. And now I'll turn it over to DeAndre Fisher, our Associate Vice President for EDI, who will recognize our next awardees. Thank you so much, Josh. Thank you so much. Caroline, congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. We can't say it enough to the 10 year service and many others to our beloved community. Many thanks to each of you. Glad to see you all on the chat. Look at it go, you all. Keep sharing the thanks and congratulations. And now I would like to have the honor and the privilege to recognize the 15 year service recipients. We'll start off, Joel Deans. Shereen Devu, Gerald Alera, Maureen Keel, beloved Jill Lane, Mary Parent, Bamiku Swab, and Sarah Stapleton. Once again, thank you. Continue to share those comments in the chat. Give it up, give it up, give it up for the 15 year celebration and awards. Now I would like to introduce the one and the only VP Tony Castro, who will recognize all employees for 20 years of service. My beloved Tony, our Vice President of Student Service. Now I turn it over to you. Well, thank you, DeAndre, and good afternoon, everybody. It's my pleasure to be here with you today. I'm honored to recognize four employees with 20 years of service at North Seattle College. Please join me in congratulating Catherine Bader, K. 
Casey Chow, Rasami Lambert, and Deborah Lang. Join me in applauding these outstanding employees for their 20 years of dedicated service. Thank you all for your service. We'd like to recognize you with a North Star College pen, which will be sent to you in campus email. Now, Dr. Shameen Crawford, our college president, will introduce our employees with 25 and 30 years of dedicated service to North Seattle College. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. I'd like to recognize five employees with 25 years of service. Congratulations on 25 years. We're grateful for your dedication to the college. Terry Chung, Nancy Leverton, Patrick Prendergrass, Sherry Toonstra Rosales, Sabrina Woodson, congratulations and thank you. I'd also like to recognize four employees with 30 years of service. Paula Costco, Steve Hoffman, Laura Jensen, and Fat Wong. Again, thank you for all of the employees honored today. We'd like to recognize you with a North Seattle College pin, which will be sent to you in campus mail. Please help me recognize our outstanding employees by joining me in a congratulations and a thanks. Next, we'll recognize our employees with 35, 40, and 50 years of service. Pete will introduce them. Thank you, Dr. Crawford. Uh, each year, service boards give us a chance to truly honor and recognize the dedication for those of you who not only are getting started, but also those of you who have given decades of service to the students and to the institution and employees of the college. It is my honor to present two of these. And in the middle, I'll turn it over to Terrence to recognize the 40 year. I'm very, very pleased to introduce Christine Dubois with 35 years of experience, of experience excuse me, of service. Christine is an award-winning editor and writer who's published more than 500 articles in 45 different magazines and newspapers. She teaches writing workshops at North Seattle College through continuing education, as well as for local businesses and government agencies. Her warmth, knowledge, and enthusiasm make her a very popular instructor, as you'll see when I read from the students later. In 2017, she received the best instructor award from North Seattle College is continuing ed. And when COVID hit, she was one of the first to seamlessly transition to remote and Zoom learning and Canvas for her classes. She also completed the certificate in online learning, always be learning to support her online teaching efforts. And as I mentioned, here's a few comments from her students. Christine is engaging, knowledgeable, <laughs> kind, approachable, and humorous. She fosters a supportive environment, is open to questions, <coughs> and ideas, and feedback, and uh, editorial comment for me, um, when I saw this last sentence, I knew uh, that uh, Christine was giving it her all. After the students were back to class, I instantly wanted her as my mentor. Other students say she's upbeat, and she makes the class atmosphere, even on Zoom, a joy and fun. Christine, I'll turn the mic over to you. Congratulations for 35 years of service. Oh, well, thank you. And I would just say it's just been a privilege and a joy to be able to be part of the North Seattle faculty for the last 35 years. Um, have enjoyed the opportunity to reach out to students and improve everybody's writing skills. And like I say, it's been a joy. So thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, the, one of the last comments that I read was, she makes grammar fun. And anyone who can make grammar fun has got to be <laughs> an incredible teacher. So congratulations, Christine. Thank you. I'm, I'm going to turn it over to Terrence. 
uh, to say a few words about our 40 year recipient. Thank you, uh, Pete. Um, I'm truly honored to uh, introduce her to recognize Matthew Davenhall, um, our 40 year recipient. Uh, you know, as a short timer, I'm in awe of the dedication shown by Matthew over four decades. Uh, he started as a custodian working the, the graveyard shift uh, and was then promoted to maintenance supervisor. While working as a custodian, uh, he enrolled at Lake Washington Vocational Technical Institute um, for plant operations maintenance, where he learned light electrical, plumbing, and boiler repair. Most recently, you all know him as the key man our lock shop supervisor, and he continues to uh, serve as a maintenance mechanic here. And uh, that's just, you know, sort of speak the day job stuff. Um, but he also, for almost a decade, served as the WFSC uh, union president and, um, and, and served, you know, honorably in that role. So uh, I just want to say, Matthew, that you've been an important part uh, of the North community. And, uh, you know, I, I really, uh, you know, 40 years, that's amazing. Thank you for your dedication and service. So um, I will pass it uh, back to Pete to recognize uh, something even more amazing, which is, oh, Matthew, I'm sorry. I didn't notice if you were on, are you on? Do you want to say a few words? Um, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Sorry. I just want to. <laughs> I just want to say thank you for everybody and for all your support here at North. Go North. That's what I have to say. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Matthew. Sorry, I'm 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 working with a phone and I couldn't see you. So apologies. Um, yeah. So um, Pete, uh, please. Uh, half a century. Our next recognition. Truly amazing. Yeah, absolutely. So last week when we opened the time capsule, a lot of us saw some familiar names and a couple of those names are still working for the college. And one of them is our 50 year recognition recipient, Fred Radke. There's a great biographical article and video posted on North's continuing ed website about Fred's incredible career up to this point at North and beyond. And when Fred and the college got started, there wasn't even a music room for he, him to teach and the students to learn. So they created a makeshift one on their own. He also brought with him a philosophy that in order to truly teach and learn music, you have to perform it. And so from his many years of experience in bands, he created community bands, and throughout the 50 years, there have been multiple iterations of bands that Fred has led. Throughout all of those, a philosophy that Fred maintained uh, has led to excellence in teaching and learning. And that is, whether it's a college band or a professional band, he treats and teaches and leads them the same. So the college band of students have that same expectation of excellence and professionalism as the professional bands. And it shows in the students who have come from his classes and from his bands and the words that they share about Fred after they have left North. He has continued teaching and leading and continuing ed. And many of you know Fred is a mainstay in many of the college and district events over the years. Fred's focus in teaching has always been about sharing the passion of performing and the love of music, while also being real about life as a professional musician. Fred says you have to be motivated. You have to have a passion for music. I've been playing the trumpet for 71 years and I still practice three hours a day. I've always tried to pass that on to my students and that's what we did at North. And what I, he says what we did, I say what he still is doing at North. And with that, it is my privilege to present the 50 year recognition, Fred Radke. And Fred, I'm not the first one and I won't be the last one to say this, but here's the microphone. 
Thank you. Uh, thanks, uh, Dr. Crawford, for recognizing me in the college. You know, 50 years goes by. Wow, it just seems like uh, I woke up this morning and I've been there 50 years, but we had a grand time and we still continue to do so, but we have some great people that, that really kick-started the college. You know, you go back to Ken Allrich, you go back to George Corcoran and Cecil and Barbara Dom and, and, and Constance Rice and, 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 and Peter Koo. Everyone that led the college were outstanding individuals and, and, and really supported what we did. I remember um, our humanities uh, division chairman, Stafford Miller, who first hired me. And uh, when I left Harry James in Las Vegas to come to the college to start the, the jazz department, Stafford was one of the, besides being an outstanding musician and uh, a great friend, he uh, really was so supportive of the music department and following him, Marie Rosenwasser, Paul McCartney, all those people that, that came through. And I remember, for instance, Edith Wallen, who was uh, chairman of the humanities division, she never missed one concert from any music faculty member that was presenting a recital or a concert. It was amazing the support we had. So my word to everybody, you know, we always support each other. If there's an art gallery uh, display, if there's uh, something going on that's that's open to the public, if there's concerts that we do every quarter, uh, come to the concert. You'll be thoroughly entertained and you'll be amazed what caliber of, of uh, performances, you know, are, are produced on campus. And uh, I plan on being there another 50 years. And... Uh, just continuing what we're doing. I'm still playing professionally, leading the Harry James Band. And I'll put a quick plug in. Uh, in two weeks, I'm guest soloist with the Marine Band, U.S. Marine Band, the President's Own in Washington, D.C. for as their guest soloist to kick off their artist uh, season. So I'm still very much active uh, and active teaching. I enjoy it. And another word uh, of advice, whatever you teach, always be convincing convincing what you what you're doing and that will be passed on the students yeah that was a little bit of a laser feel free thank you very much thank you fred thank you 50 years is truly remarkable congratulations on your years of service and congratulations to all of the other uh recipients of the five years all the way through to 50. Let's take a moment, please unmute your sound and give all of these deserving employees a round of applause and recognition. Huge congrats. Right on. Beautiful steadfastness. This is truly congrats. one of the noble professions of education. North is a, a huge series of buildings with um, a distinct architecture, but as we all know, it is the people that make this place what it is. And, and the, those that we just honored are obviously but a few of those who have been here for the 50 years. So thank you all uh, for not only what you have done, but also for what you will do. And speaking of which, I'm now going to turn the program over to recognize awards for faculty. You are, faculty were asked to submit accomplishments of, of theirs over the past year, and you will see at the end of the PowerPoint, which will also be mailed to you, uh, a small taste of the awards that our faculty have received. Please take a moment and read through those. And by the way, Fred, great point about coming out to see uh, the concerts and the music and the making learning and teaching visible. Part of uh, celebrating North is celebrating the contributions of the individuals. I'd like to take a special minute to recognize the 2020-21 League of Innovations Excellence Award recipients. We've been uh, awarding the League of Excellence, uh, uh, the League of Innovations Excellence Award for years 
And uh, as a charter member of the league, we are invited each year to submit names. This year, North Seattle College is recognized for their leadership in and out of the classroom and their contributions to higher education. Carly Ikabara, Kaylin Owens, and Sam Wilson. Congratulations to Sam, to Kaylin, and Carly. Well deserved, well earned uh, awards. And everybody, please take a moment and chat to congratulate these three. Now I'd like to invite the members of STARS to announce our classified employee of the year. And I will give the mic to Casey. Hey, Casey and Sabrina. Hey, Sabrina, I miss you both. Here's the mic. Thank you, Pete. Hi, everyone. My name is Casey Chow and um, I work at, in the library on campus, uh, but I'm also a STARS member with uh, Sabrina Woodson from EDI and Matthew Davenal from Facilities. Um, so STARS is your North Seattle College staff representative, and we are presently a very small uh, group of volunteer members um, selected by you a while ago, uh, pre-COVID, um, to represent the classified staff and campus-wide issues and to help facilitate employee recognition and celebration. Uh, we've pretty much been on hiatus this past year uh, but we couldn't pass up an opportunity to celebrate the hardworking classified staff. And so now STARS is going to present your 2021 Classified Employee of the Year. Um, the recipient of the Classified Employee of the Year must demonstrate several qualities. Um, one is exceed job expectation. Another is respect and treat others beyond the call of duty. Uh, be professional, motivated, enthusiastic, and dedicated to advancing North's missions and goals. And demonstrate involvement in North's campus community and demonstrate a cooperative spirit. We had 11 nominations this year. They are from all over campus. And let's take a moment to recognize the nominees' names. Sabrina? Muted, sorry about that. Um, Kimberly Gilbert. Uh, Michael Sanders. Um, all of the maintenance, the mailroom, and the grounds. Uh, Courtney Schneider. Ariel Zastro, uh, Kanika Styron, I hope I said that right, Tui Nguyen, uh, Marcia Shaw, the custodial department, Dale Nelson. And the things that were said about them were so amazing. I'd love to read it to you, but then that would extend the award show for another hour. But it just was so <laughs> heartwarming. Anyway. Back to you, Casey. Sure, so thank you for reading the names of the nominees. We are going to now drum roll and say the recipient. Okay, let's say some good things about this person first. See if you can guess. <laughs> Hold on, I wrote it all up here. I, I mean, I cut and pasted it all to the Word document. So this person, has a strong work ethic, positive attitude, highly motivated, strong systemic and organizational team player, excellent ability to adapt to change and learn new and help um, others, detail oriented, outstanding in helping the divisions with CT ceiling transition. That was a strong hint. And the greatest paragraph I will not read because it's too long. Anyway, here we go, drum roll. Okay, and I'm, I'm gonna count to three and then me, Stacy, and Matt are gonna tell you the person, okay? I know, Courtney. One, one two, three. Faraday Hey! Faraday! Faraday! Wow. I am honored 
to be nominated and receive this award. Um, thank you to whom nominated and voted for me. I appreciate this recognition. Thank you. Congratulations, Faraday. Yeah. And um, let's give another round of applause to all of the nominees, please. Yeah. Unmute yourself. Yay! Yay. Thank you for your work. Thank, Thank you. you. Everyone was so grateful to all of you all. Wow. So Thank grateful. You. Yes. Um, thank you so much for all your hard work and dedication to North. Um, STARS very much looks forward to celebrating employee recognition and community building events with you again soon when campus reopens. Thank you. And everyone, imagine yourselves eating strawberry shortcake. That's what we would be doing if we were on campus for these awards. <laughs> Casey, uh, is it, uh, we turn into the next segment? Yes, thank you, Dr. Pan. All right, Casey. Well, let's uh, once again congratulating all the North Star Award recipients. Congratulating to all the classified employee of the year for it. This is a wonderful honor. <clears throat> so let's turn to a very special moment. We want to recognize our retirees. This year, we'll recognize 14 employees who are retiring. They represent multiple disciplines across the campus. For sure, uh, North Seattle College's success has been, will always be dependent on our employees. Like these 14 individuals doing their job well and in service of our students and North Seattle College. They're not all here today but I want to encourage all of you to read their Bible bios, read their bios, which are shared at the end of the PowerPoint. This employee's presence will for sure missed tremendously. So on behalf of your campus and Seattle colleges, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, I want to say congratulations on your retirement, opening a new chapter of your personal professional life, and thank you. So please join me in recognize these outstanding individuals. First, Kate Bader, Coral Salim Martel, Bob Ford, Thomas Franco, Lin Hao, Judy Learn, Margaret McKeepen, Vince Offenbach, Steve Quick, Susan Rosenbaum, Daniel Rowe, Lisa. Sanford, Jane Strom Streeby, Jeanette Yu, so I believe some of our retirees with us, let me see, if Judy Learn, if you're here, would you like to share a few words? Um, I think back to uh, what was said earlier by Fred Radke that you just, it just seems like a blink of an eye and it's all over. Um, I taught for 45 years. Uh, my first professional job was in 1976, but I'm deeply honored that uh, I was able to spend the last 24 years at North. Uh, it has meant so much and um, being here and seeing uh, everyone and um, seeing the names of people that I feel such connection to, like Jeanette Yu and Coral, 
Um, I remember a phone call to Sam Wilson to uh, uh, where I offered him uh, a job in uh, with the math faculty and um, Steve Quig, he and I were recipients of the, the first uh, Excellence in Teaching Award and the great deans that I've served with and uh, the many wonderful students. Um, it, but it's like a blink of an eye. And so the career door has closed and I'm looking ahead to that next open door and I've taken up the guitar and I'm studying Welsh for whatever reason. Um, and I'm going to celebrate my 70th birthday this summer by uh, kayaking and camping with family members wow. in the Solomon Islands. So there is a lot beyond the retirement door and I wish all of it to be wonderful for all of you. You've all meant so very much to me and thank you. Way to go, way to go, Judy, thank you. How about Steve uh, Quigg? I know you are here. Would I'm you say your words, please? Thank you, Chancellor Pan. I'll be brief. Um, I can't think um, of a better way to have spent my professional life than in this place um, with all of you, with our wonderful students. Um, from my earliest days as a part-timer trying to string classes together <clears throat> quarter to quarter, um, there's always been folks here willing to help and uh, you know, answer my questions, help me when I'm down, commiserate after a rough class, um, I just feel so lucky to have all of you around me uh, for all those times. I've had mentors. I'll just mention one. Marsha Barton was a longtime English teacher here. She took me in as an intern in 1987. I knew nothing about teaching. The, you know, I, was, I was, had no teaching experience, but once I saw what went on in that classroom, I watched her teach. I interacted with our students. I knew that this is where I wanted to be. These are the students I want to work with, and I've been so lucky that I've been able to do that. So thank you, Marcia, for that. Um, thank you to all my students, uh, 5,376 to be exact. <laughs> take. Um, and they all write papers, by the way. Um, but um, I've one thing I'm realizing now as I'm getting close to retirement is that I've learned so much more from them, I think, than they've learned from me. So I, I feel that very strongly. Um, and I'll miss their energy. Um, but again, I might not miss all their papers, uh, to be honest, but I will miss them. Finally, uh, I'm very lucky to have uh, my wife, Therese, here. Some of you know Therese <clears throat> and um, our daughter, Emily, who's also here from California. So I'm glad they're here. Thank you guys for your love and support. And I, I want to end with uh, apologizing to those two uh, for those afternoons, those evenings, those weekends when I couldn't go out to play because of all those papers. So I think I'll have a little more time uh, in a little while here. So thank you to you guys and to thank you to all of you. This has been wonderful. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to speak. Thank you. Stephen, that's heartfelt. 5,000 some students. Do you calculate how many papers did you actually work on? Probably thousands and thousands. Yes, thousands and thousands. <laughs> well, you left a legacy. Huh? I'm sure uh, impact the students' life for much the better. Thank you. Very Thank much. you. How about Susan Rosenbaum? Susan, are you around? Yes, I am. I'm sorry. I was trying to unmute. I sure. guess my hands were a little sweaty. Um, yeah, I'm just going to read something here. Um, that I wrote this morning, um, thinking about this time. Uh, back in 2004, a friend and North faculty member, Tracy Heinlein, told me about a part-time position opening in the North Library. And in May of 2005, I began the evening circulation shift at North. The evenings are generally a quiet time in the library, which was a respite at that time from raising two teenage boys. And it has become a second home for me for these past 16 years. In a strange way, this last work from home year was kind of a dress rehearsal for retirement. Uh, but the unexpected benefit was the experience of attending so many Zoom events around the campus that feeling of connection to the larger campus community was one of those pandemic perks. And I especially enjoyed the fine programming 
coming out of the office of EDI and out of the North Art Gallery. I wish to thank my immediate colleagues in circulation, Mary Parent, Michael Montague, and Casey Chow. I mean, who on this campus has not wanted to work with Casey Chow? Um, we've current, certainly weathered many storms together and I want you to all keep up the good work. I also wish to acknowledge the larger library team of Ariana Bates, Jan Westman, Zola Mumford, Shireen Dubu, Anna Villar, Caroline Conley, Wadia Nelson, Margaret McKibben, and Kelly Rose. You've all enriched my experience in the library, and many of you gave me rides home to boot. Thank you, Konica and Coral, and the stellar team at eLearning. A special shout out to Sarah DeBessi, our evening custodian, for all of her hard, hard work. And a huge thank you to security, and especially Alex and Pat, for making us feel that much safer in the evenings. Also, I want to mention former library staffers, Michelle, Sharon, Kelly, Eleanor, Alice, Maria, Trudy, Susanna, and Jennifer. And I hope I haven't forgotten anybody. And all of the fantastic work study students who taught me so much, especially Robel, Wanda Mew. Oddly enough, I saw Tracy Heinlein just this morning coming out of the pool where we both swim. So it was really a perfect book end to end this journey and I want to say get well soon, Jane, and I'll miss you all. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. First time I hear you use the word uh, pandemic perk. To think about it, pandemic is a double-edged sword, caused a lot of pain, and, but it does bring some new uh, benefits, so to speak. Thank you for your dedication. Are there any other additional retirees who are here would like to say a few words? Let us recognize you. Thank you. All right. So again, their bio is uh, at the end of the PowerPoint. Be sure to take a minute to, to review. This individual certainly has left a rich legacy and uh, made uh, important impact on the lives of the students. Congratulations. So would you unmute for a minute and also offer a big congratulations to all of the retirees and all, all of the employees recognized this afternoon. Congratulations. This is awesome. Caroline, back to you. All right, thank you. And congratulations to everyone who is recognized today. We've reached the end of our program, but before we break, I also want to thank this community for your dedication while we are working remotely. I'm proud to be part of the North Seattle College community and the way we all show up for each other. It's thanks to all of your hard work that more than 1,100 students have applied to graduate this academic year. Oh my gosh. Wow, 1,100, that's amazing. I. I cannot imagine graduating during COVID. It's a huge accomplishment. And we know it's gonna be a better future that these students are gonna create. So we are gonna celebrate our graduates this year on Saturday, June 19th on campus in real life. So please join us at the graduation and Juneteenth celebration. Everyone here is invited to come and cheer for our grads as they walk. So we hope to see you there in person. And before we close, I just want to give a shout out to the hosts, the tech support, all the speakers, my fellow MC, and thank you all for coming. This is an amazing turnout. Um, feel free to turn on your cameras and say hello uh, to folks you know, and join me again in congratulating our Service Awards employees. Thanks so much. And how many